Okay, so welcome back guys, and uh, in this video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your lights ELS compatible. Last episode we left off at uh, attaching the meshes and stuff like that, and positioning the light bar. Now, this episode wait, will get a little bit complicated, so you will need to pause the video in sometimes to try and understand. So what we're going to do is we're going to straight up open uh, the Z3D file that we saved last time. You can do file and open on Z Model 3, but I already have have it as a default option to open. I'm going to be trying to make this video as uncut as I can, so you guys can understand it the most. Okay, so here's where we left off last time. We had the bracket, the siren, and the glass. What we're going to be needing for this episode is just the siren. What we need to do is we need to detach all of these lights. So they are all their own own components. So let's say this is siren 1. So I'm just going to teach you. So you want to go to top view by clicking up here and click on top. You want to zoom in a bit. And it will look like this. It depends on what light bar you use. But on my one it looks like this. So you want to go to modify, in the sub mesh you click here, and this is the detach tool, then you go to select and select quad R. You don't know what quad R is, it's the select tool. So what you want to do now is you want to go into polygon mode, once you're in polygon mode, click on any one of these things here, and just select one of them, make sure you selected the whole thing, and then just click outside of it. Now we want to unhighlight it by holding left control and selecting it again. Now, if you un as you can see on your hierarchy, you have two sirens. So this one unticks the whole one, and this one has the one that we just detached. So you want to do that for every single one of the lights. So I'm just going to speed through this real quick. Remember, once you unselect it, you need to go back in polygon mode. And by the way, guys, if you have any questions about this series or you need help with anything... Anything like that, just leave it in the uh, comments and I'll get to you as soon as possible. Or you can join our Discord. I'm pretty sure my Discord is going to be in the description. I'm not 100% though. So this can take a little while to do, but you get more quicker as you get used to it. And every time you've detached something, you always need to go back into polygon mode. I would definitely say setting up the ELS lighting stuff is uh, probably one of the most lengthiest things in making a police car, so this episode will be a little bit longer than the other ones. And like I said, I'm going to make it as uncut as possible, so all of this is going to remain in the video, so you can skip forward if you would like to. Sorry about it, I just had to click my drawer if you heard that. As you can see, I've selected a bit here, so you just hold control and deselect it by selecting it again. Alright, now, once you've done that, you don't have to worry about deselecting these last ones, this last one here, because it's not attached to anything. So, as you can see, we have got every single siren detached. You can just randomly tick them on and off, and you can see that they are detached. So, you see this siren here, if you press space, they will come off randomly. So, now you want to attach it to a lighting pattern how you would like it. 
So, what I would do personally, this is just for tutorial purposes, I would make it nice and even. So, I would connect these together. And then I'll connect these together. So, it flashes like that. And I'll connect these together. So there. Now we have four different things here. Now, you want to make four dummies. And to do that, you go up here where you see all these shapes. And as you can see, there is a thing here called a dummy helper. You want to make four of them. So, you want to make these dummies called extra one, extra underscore one, through to extra underscore four. So, for example, extra underscore two, extra underscore three. And extra underscore four. Okay, so how this will work? Hang on. Okay, so how this will work is how the lighting pattern works. So these are the backlights here, right here on my 3D screen, right? The red ones. Extra one would be the red ones, the red back ones, and extra four would be the blue back ones. So if you wanted it to flash red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. You would put the red back ones. Where are they? You put them ones into extra one. But before you put them into extra one, you need to rename them to nothing by double clicking them. Now I want to put uh, the blues in extra four so they flash red, blue, red, blue. So now I need to find the bl blue ones which are here. Rename them to nothing and then put them in extra four. Now. If you wanted uh, these two to flash red and blue as well, so red and blue, or stuff like that, you'd put the red one into extra two. Oh, I've done that wrong. You'd put the blue one into extra three, and you'd put the red one into extra two. And always, always, always remember to rename them to nothing when you put them in there. There we go. That is the lights done. You do not need to bother with the lights anymore. They are 100% done and ready to be used in game. But you're not done there. What you need to do now is you need to make the misc and the glass. So you don't need to attach or detach anything here. All you've got to do is make two more dummies and name them misc underscore a and siren underscore glass one. Now, I'm guessing you guys could understand what happens here. Misc is a miscellaneous item, and they go in the alphabet. So the bracket would be a miscellaneous item, so you'd rename that to nothing. And you'd put that into the misc dummy. Now, the last one would be the glass. You just want to rename that to nothing and also put that in the glass, the glass dummy. There you go, your light bar is now done on your car, and it's now usable in Grand Theft Auto V. But you're not done there. What you're going to have to do now is something called LODing. So what you'd like to do here, this is if you don't want to add anything else to the car. So I'm actually going to make a copy of this car, so I can use this in further tutorials. So let's say maybe we wanted to add a RAM bar to the car, I could use that in a further tutorial. So we go File, Merge, I mean uh, no, I'm going to save a new file, sorry. You don't need to do this, this is just for me real quick. Right, there we go. So I have saved it. So if you literally just want the light bar and the car, this is all you have to do. That's In these past two episodes, that's all you had to do. But now we need to do something called level of detail or distance. I don't remember which way it is. So you want to untick everything. And then you want to open the dummies. So just... The things inside of these extras are ticked. Now you want to go to Quad R, select the whole entire light bar, go to Create, Copy, and then click outside of the light bar three times. One, two, three. As you can see, it's made loads and loads of copies of the extras and the misks. So what you want to do now is you want to click on the extra one. Make sure you have no LOs uh, selected or anything. Click Convert to Compound. Double click it to lock it, but I normally just click the lock button here. Press L0 and drag one and only one of the things from extra one into this little box here where it says default. 
Now you click off of L1, uh, L0 and then you click L1. You drag another one in, you click L2, drag another one in, click L3, drag another one in, click off of L3 and unlock it. And now you have done one compound, so the back red lights will be able to see from uh, be able to be seen from a while away. So now you click convert to compound again. As you can see, it has got extra two now. So we lock it, click L0, drag one in, L1, drag one in, L2, drag one in, L3, and there you go. Now you just keep doing this all the way to the bottom. So in our case, we need to keep doing it all the way down to siren underscore glass 1. Now you must be thinking in your head, oh, this is taking so long, it's very boring. But trust me, after you do it for a while, you get very, very, very used to it. See, I am absolutely whizzing through them right now, because I am so used to doing them as I make a lot of cars in Grand Theft Auto. So the more cars you make, the more used to doing this stuff is... And I'm just saying, guys, if you are enjoying this series and you think I am helpful in any way, shape or form, please like and share this with your friends. Because I've had a lot of people coming up to me asking them to teach them. And where I've had a lot, I just do not have time to teach every single one of you. I mean, fair enough, if there was two of you, I would teach you, but there's just way too many of you. So I hope this is a good uh, solution. So as you can see, they are all bold and they don't have anything in them anymore. So if you tick them and make sure everything's there and working in order then you are pretty much done. So now what you want to do is you want to click extra one and then you want to shift click siren underscore glass one and it selects all of these. And then you want to open the police two, open the chassis, uh, click L0, go all the way to the bottom, hold, click and hold this and drag it all the way to the top underneath dials. Now we have to do one last thing before we finish with this and that is deleting the base values so it doesn't crash your game. So what you want to do now is you want to go to select, quad R, select the whole entire car, click L0, go to properties, go all the way down to the bottom and double click the little blank space here where it says user defined options. Click on base and then click delete, OK and then apply. And you want to double check by clicking on it one more time and if it's not there then you're good. So there you go, you are now done with your car. So now we are going to export it. And whatever you want to export it as, it has to be the exact same name as it is in your hierarchy. So my one is called Police 2. So I need to export it as Police 2. And another thing guys, you also want, you also want to make another export and call it whatever your name is again, and then underscore high. So in my case, it would be police2 underscore hi. Okay, guys, so once you're done with that, you can save. Once you've saved, you can close your Z modeler. And here, and when you're in your... Um, CVPI files, you want to uh, grab your YTD and you want to just throw it with your vehicle files. I'm going to delete this back up quick. Alright, so as you can see, I have police2 underscore high, police2 YFT, but we have police.ytd. So we need to rename that to whatever you named your car. In my case, again, it's police2. Why does that come up? Okay, so there we go. Next thing you're going to be needing is Open IV. I assume you all have Open IV since it's pretty much an essential in the Grand Theft Auto modding community. I don't know anyone who mods who doesn't use this, so it's a it's quite a popular tool, I guess you could say. This does take a while for some reason, I have no clue why. How long have we been recording for? 14 minutes and 39 seconds. And uh, I'm sorry if you can hear my computer fans guys. I don't know why but my fans are just going off at it recently. 
Okay, so now you want to do, you need to have a mods folder, I assume you do. And you want to direct to your latest update. For me, it's patch day 15. So now you want to grab all of your files that you have just made. Sorry, phone. You want to just put them in. Oh, first you want to turn on edit mode. And then you want to put them in your open IV. Once they are in your open IV, you want to open the police2 underscore YFT or whatever you've named your car. Just open it. Okay, so as you can see, the car is imported, and you're probably wondering why is the light bar white, and that is why we made that textures file. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the police2 YTD. Import. Find where you made the car, and here's the textures file. And then you just select both of these, and you import it. You click save. Now you go back up and open the police2.yft. And as you can see, the light bar is imported. The lights are perfectly working. If we untick the siren glass, there we go. Look, it's working and everything. Oh yeah, guys, I forgot to say one more thing. Before you export it... Oh, I can't believe I forgot this. I should have done this before I exported it. But before you export it, you need to do something in the material browser, otherwise your lights will not be shown over the glass. I'm very sorry, guys, but you're just going to have to open up your Zeman the one more time. This is very unprofessional of me, but if you want your lights to work, this is what you're going to have to do. So you want to open up your file one more time. God, I'm so sorry, guys. This is why you should have saved it. If you didn't save it, that's uh, unlucky for you. So what you want to do is you want to just wait for it to uh, open one more time. Come on, open already. It's still opening, really. Well, let's take a look at Red and Blue Studio, see what's going on in there. Okay, it's opened. Okay, so once you're in here... Oh, well, I've opened the wrong file. Great. I am very good. That moment when you accidentally open the wrong file... <laughs> Just keep skipping forward if you know what I'm going to do. But once you're in here, you want to open the Material Browser. The Material Browser is up here next to the Texture Browser and the Import. It's this multicolored ball. And you want to go all the way to the bottom. And as you can see, if you look at the Adapt, and it says Vehicle Lights Emissive, you want to move it all the way up, so you hold it. And you move it up to the top next to Default Material. Okay, so once you do that, export it one more time. And remember to export the high model as well. And then you want to save. While it's saving, we can put the new files in. So only the YFTs, not the YTDs. Okay, so when you open it, you're probably going to be thinking like, well, what's different with the car? Absolutely nothing visual different, but when you use the lights, they will sh they will actually go through the glass. And they won't look like trash. So that is that tutorial guys, and uh, the last thing you want to do, is you want to go to your ELS file, and you want to make an ELS config. Now ELS co configs aren't that hard to make, they're literally word by word explanations in the config file. But what I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to make, I'm just going to copy one here, 
gonna paste it in here. Hang on, I'll just do it in here. You just wanna make a new ELS file. I'm sure you guys know how to make an ELS file. If not, you just go to your directory, open the ELS file, pack default, unused sample VSF, you just copy it. You paste it in here and you rename it to whatever car slot you had your car in. So mine's police two. And there you go, all done. That is your car 100% done. Now, guys, all you got to do is just start up your Grand Theft Auto 5 and check if your car is working. If you have any issues, please just leave a comment or talk to me on Discord and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much, guys, for watching these tutorials. I will come out with more if they are requested. And as always, have a great day.